Hello everyone, this is Manjula Devi P, working as an assistant professor in GFGC Kanakpura. Today we will discuss about IFRS and its process of setting IFRS. What is the process that IASB follows, that is International Accounting Standard Board follows while setting the IFRS, okay. So anyway, it is uh, so important, IFRS is accepted globally, has applicability worldwide. So while setting the IFRS, due care has to be taken. So let us see what is the uh, process that they follow while setting the IFRS. So this entire process of setting IFRS is called as the due process technically. It has six stages. So let us see each stage one by one. So starting with setting an agenda, then there is planning the project, then developing and publishing the discussion paper, then they have publishing the exposure draft, then they have uh, publishing the actual standard, then uh, after implementation the uh, review of the standard. So these are the six stages that they have while setting the IFRS. So in the first stage as we have uh, setting the agenda is the first stage. So in this stage they basically uh, identify the need for an IFRS to be set. So they would uh, if when they actually come across with the new issues, new challenges, when there are any uh, new changes which requires a standard procedure that has to be followed. So when they identify that, that is the first stage of setting the agenda about how to go about it, identifying the area where they have to formulate the agenda, where they have to formulate a new IFRS. That is the first stage of setting the agenda. Then the second thing is planning the project. When they come across with a requirement or where, then, where there is a need of a new IFRS, so then they would frame a working team or it is also called as working group. So that group consists of, uh, of course, IASB members, uh, experts, then different accounting standard setters like IASB, of course, it is an international body. So it will have its own uh, connection with other countries accounting standard setters like in India it is ICAI which sets the accounting standards in days. So same way each country will have their own standard setting bodies so they are all will be the part of the um, project team. So they will make up a team of experts which consists of accounting setters from different parts of the world and also the members of the IASB. So once the team is formulated and the topic is discussed, the new IFRS idea is being discussed, then they would call for the public discussion or discussion paper, the research paper from the related people or from the experts. So in that discussion paper or in that research paper, so many uh, experts would express their views, would express their ideas would, would come up with the new IFRS, how it should be, how it can be. So then they come up, there will be a sort of brainstorming that happens through the discussion paper. And then once the discussion comes to a logical end, once they come up, come up with a uh, idea of uh, free, a clear idea of IFRS, then IASB releases the exposure draft like it comes up with the draft IFRS and it is issued for the public consultation. So then nearly 120 days is being provided for the publics to view or the uh, experts to view the accounting standard that is the IFRS which is being set and then again they will uh, ask for the comments, suggestions if there is any issues relating to the new IFRS. Then in this exposure draft, once they receive 
the suggestions and uh, issues or if there is any uh, new things or if there is any changes that has to be made if they get any responses from the public viewers then they'll again they'll continue again the they'll uh, bring it to the group working group that they have formed there'll be series of discussions on it so once all these discussions reaches the logical end so then finally at the fifth stage they will develop the standard and they will publish it so officially that becomes part of that ifrs standard which of course initially for few days it will be uh, it is uh, optional then it becomes mandatory for the companies to follow so once the standard is published then nearly for 2 years they would look for any issues which was unpredicted which was not uh, which didn't come into uh, discussion during the discussion paper or during the public exposure public consultation so any issue or any uh, problem comes after the uh, issue of the ifrs then definitely they take the step to resolve it nearly for 2 years they would watch about the new ifrs which has come and they would keep the platform open for any suggestions and for any uh, changes that is required so this is the uh, six uh, basic steps which are followed while setting the ifrs this entire process is called as the due process and this process is been taken by the iasb international accounting standards board and for setting each ifrs the formulate the working group and there will be thorough discussion about the ifrs the new ifrs which has to come and of course once the draft is prepared prepared it is also uh, given for the public consultation once they receive the suggestions ideas from everywhere from the experts as well as from the public then they would finalize it and they would issue even after issuing the ifrs nearly for 2 years they would constantly watch what is the effect after math and then they would take suitable amendments for if there is any necessity okay uh, just to show the pictorial view these are the six stages it starts with setting an agenda identifying the need for a new ifrs then they'll plan the project they'll frame the working group then they'll discuss there'll be discussion paper from each accounting setters or from the uh, group and also from different experts then once the discussion paper is concluded they would prepare an exposure draft and publish it for the public consultation once all the issues suggestions everything is considered they'll finally uh, make the standard they'll ballot it iisb uh, puts its stamp that this is the num ifrs this is the number and this is these are the things objectives this is what this ifrs talks about then they'll issue the standard once the standards are issued it is sent for the uh, after that it is uh, nearly for 2 years they would review it okay yeah this entire process is called as the due process and they take utmost care while preparing the while uh, conducting this due process yes these are the references which you can actually refer it to uh, i have given the link of ifrs organization itself they themselves have given the list of activities that they do when they are doing this due process thank you very much hope you have understood uh, the due process that has been followed while preparing the ifrs thank you